Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Open After Effects and create new composition. Let's rename it. Also, I'll keep these default settings, and duration to 10 seconds, and hit OK. Now, let's import some assets, and drag it to project panel. Drag this clip into timeline. Create new composition, rename it, and hit OK. Drag these into timeline. Let's resize this. Place these brush stroke to cover up whole screen. You are free to place them as you want. Just like that. Cool. Now, click on this layer, select rectangle tool, and create a mask around this brush stroke. Just like that. Explore its properties, and create keyframe on its path. Let's adjust this time navigator. Now, go 5 frames forward. Click on mask. And stretch it to reveal brush stroke. Just like that. We'll repeat this same procedure on remaining layers. You are free to animate these brush stroke, and adjust its animation speed as your own way. Once you finished creating this animation, select all layers, and press U, to reveal all keyframes, select all keyframes, right click, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, select these, and drag this handle a bit. Just like that. Also, set its mask feather to 160 pixels to give brush stroke a smooth corners. Do this same to all layers. Cool. Now, create new composition, rename it to scene 1, and hit OK. Drag image and brush composition to timeline. Set its track mat to alpha mat. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for CC Threshold. And drag it to this image layer. Adjust its threshold as you like. Go back to Project Panel, and drag this into Timeline. Set its mode to Overlay. Drag Brush Comp to Timeline. Also set it to alpha mat. Again drag image and brush comp to timeline. And set it to alpha mat. Click on this layer, and press R, to open rotation, and set its value to minus 180 degree. Cool. Also, move this layer to one second forward. Just like that. You can switch between these look, just by disabling this effect. Cool. Click on this layer, press S, and create keyframe. Move this time indicator, and set its value to 110. Cool. Go back to project panel. Create new composition, rename it to main, set its duration according to length of slideshow. And hit OK. Drag scene 1 to timeline. Now, let's use a simple method, so that we can reuse this composition as much as you want. 
click on this comp, and press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate it, and drag it to timeline. Here, you can notice both compositions are same. Even if you place another clip, to any one of these composition, it will apply for both compositions. So to change them, go to project panel, click on this comp, and press Ctrl plus D, to duplicate it. As you can see, here we have image placeholder 2 comp after duplicating it. Do similar with brush comp. Cool. Now, double click, and open scene 2 composition. Here, click on this image layer, now pressing out, drag this image comp 2 layer, and place into this composition, just like that. This way we can reuse this composition, and place different footage. Double click, and open this. Now, let's drag this clip into composition. Let's do same with brush comp. Cool. Get creative, and place these as you like to create amazing brush stroke animation. Go back to main composition. Let's preview this. Awesome. Now, let's make some color adjustment, to make this animation look more amazing. Right click, and create new adjustment layer. Go to effects and presets, and search for photo filter. And drag it to this layer. Set its density to 40%. Search for a curve. and drag it to this adjustment layer. Adjust these curves to somewhat like this. Cool. Let's preview this. Awesome. So, this way you can create this amazing animation, and reuse composition easily. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.